Yeah, it's great. Um, it's good to be out there and obviously have all the guys and uh, you know compete against that, compete against them. So it was fun. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was. Uh, I didn't know how that worked, so it was fun to you know have everyone there and, and kind of see uh, people enjoying it. How was it meeting some of the, uh, the veterans? Sorry. How was it meeting a lot of the veterans? It's been great. Uh, they've all been really good to myself and, and all the young guys, and uh, you know made everyone feel really comfortable. So um, you know we're we're pretty lucky to have them to learn from or talk to or ask questions to. So it's uh, it's been really good. Um, I mean, I haven't thought about it too much, but it's definitely, you know, kind of those first few times. It's uh, pretty crazy to think about, um, I guess, and uh, when you kind of see someone wearing your jersey or, or whatever, I think that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's weird to think about, but when you're kind of in the moment, you don't, uh, you're not too, you know, weird about it. But definitely now when you sit back, it's good. Seth was saying you guys had your first meeting going over defensive zone system and everything today. What were, I guess, your impressions of that and how how long do you think it'll take to just get accustomed and adjusted to the system? Yeah, it's good. It should be pretty quick. I mean, obviously, it's different for guys coming in, you know, slightly. But um, I think kind of a couple of practices of getting used to it and figuring out, talking to the guys. And, um, you know, like I said, just kind of getting used to it. It's, uh, it's not, not too hard, but it's good. And I think it should be quick to get accustomed to. Did you talk with Luke much over the summer? Um, I talked to him here at, at Dev Camp. And then um, he texted me a couple of times. But, uh, yeah, I've. Here I've got to talk to him a good amount and, and get to know him a bit and you know seems like a really good guy, really good coach, so it's good to kinda, you know, grow that relationship. Based on that and what you've done so far at Rookie Camp and everything, what's the biggest thing you think you have to work on? Um, I think just kinda figuring out, you know, what it's like playing against these guys. I mean, uh, I kinda always say that you never really know until you're in a game what what you gotta, you know, improve on or whatever. So, you know, right now just trying to kinda work on everything and uh, be a sponge out here and uh, in video and, and with all the guys, just, just learn as much as I can. And um, yeah, I think that's all I can do right now. How'd you do the fitness test yesterday? Good. Uh, just kind of went as hard as I could. That's all you can really do. So um, yeah, I thought it went well. Similar to the jersey question, is there an element of feeling like, is this real with your first training camp practice in the NHL? You, I mean, you knew it was going to happen, but what was that like today driving the rink? Um, yeah, it's just exciting. I mean, once you're on the ice, it's it's hockey, and um, you try not to be starstruck or whatever, anything like that. But um, yeah, I mean, waking up and uh, you know, whatever, talking to my parents last night and stuff about it, it's it's pretty special. And uh, to be here and you know, with the fans and and this city and everything, it's uh, it's remarkable. So you know, I feel super fortunate, and um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a dream right now. You think he's changed a shot? Huh? You think he's changed it? Austin Matthews. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's, I, I guess, reinvented it three times like, since he's, he's come in the league. So I, I was just, yeah, I'm sure there's adjustments you'll have to make, but uh, like, do you, are you looking forward to that process? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think um, just see, obviously, what, what you can do, how much time you have. But um, you know, I think just trying to learn different ways to shoot and kind of, uh, you know, have be able to shoot kind of at any time, I think is, is important. So um, just trying to learn, learn different ways and, and um, yeah, kind of see how, how that feels in games. You, you've obviously been are used to seeing a lot of tension on the ice, but you're obviously going to see probably another level here in terms of physicality, I guess. On you. Do you, how do you get ready for that as a player? Like, what can you do, do you think, both mentally and physically prepare the amount of physical attention you're going to get? Um, I don't know. I mean, I've been hit a good amount, of course, in my life. And, um, you know, obviously these guys are bigger, stronger. But uh, for me, it's just having my head up and being smart. And, you know, I can't be go out there being scared to get hit. So um, it's not really something I've thought about too much. Of course, you know, those guys, if, if you're not ready, they're going to they're gonna get you pretty good. But uh, for me, just taking hits when I need to and, um, you know, having my head up and um, trying to, you know, not get hit too much. But it's going to happen. It's hockey. It's a physical sport. So try not to think about that too much. Uh, to win, win a lot of games, I think, is, is what, what we all want. And uh, for me, of course, you know, I want to make an impact and, um, you know, be, be a good player in the league and everything. But, um, yeah, we're, we're coming in here and, and we're trying to get better as a team and trying to win. And, um, you know, that's everyone's mindset. Um, 
Um, not yet. I think, you know, I like to set goals for myself and, and my team and everything. But uh, right now, like I said, it's, it's just kind of tough when you haven't played at that level and aren't really sure, you know, what to expect and, and everything. But, um, you know, every game I go into, I want to play well and uh, I want to win and, and kind of see once things get going here how I feel, feel out there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I haven't thought about it. Um, you know, just kind of focus on having a good camp here and, you know, like I always say, make the team. So, um, I mean, of course, everyone wants to play, but uh, such a good level and everything. And, um, you know, I'm sure they'll see how I'm doing and see how all the younger guys are doing and everything and uh, make the decisions from there. But, uh, you know, I want to want to be here, of course, and uh, I want to be you know, someone who's, who's making an impact. And, you know, I'll try my hardest to do that, but you never know what's uh, going to happen. Um, I mean a bit, but I don't haven't gone too much. I've been been at the rink a lot and going home trying to, you know, cook or whatever and figure that out. But um, yeah, I think uh, if if I go out here and there, then um, you know I got recognized a little. But like I said, I've I've been here a lot and been home or at someone's house a good amount. So yeah. So you, you, how's the cooking going? Because you said your mom was instrumental, you know, early. Yeah. On. Yeah, I just kind of FaceTime her, put her on the counter, and <laughs> she tells me what to do. So um, she's uh, making it easy on me. But um, yeah, maybe try to be a little more independent at some point. What do you cook? What's just whatever. Like I haven't cooked that much. It's just kind of something to something to say here. But a couple of times. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I've, I've done a couple of times some rice, chicken, a couple of tacos. Nothing crazy. Um, not, not a crazy amount, really. Uh, you know, I knew how nice it was, you know, I'm learning about the drivers are intense here and trying to figure that out. But, um, no, it's, it's been great. Um, like I said earlier, the fans are unbelievable so far. And I think that's, you know, the best part for us is having that support and kind of feeling that you really notice it. And, uh, it's a beautiful city. So, you know, like I said, I couldn't be luckier to be here and, you know, I'm excited to learn more about it and kind of, uh, you know, look around a bit. Sorry? What's it like being one of the youngest players for the Blackhawks? What is it like? What's life like? Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, I think just trying to acclimate myself and um, you know, be one of the guys here. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun, kind of learning from from the older guys and uh, sitting back and seeing you know guys see how they kind of approach their their lives and and their hockey careers. So it's been good. I saw that Nick Mino was checking in on you throughout the summer. How much have you gotten? To Yeah, he's been he's been unreal. Like uh, like you said, there he texts me all the time throughout the summer, called me or whatever to see how I'm doing, um, make sure I'm working hard. But uh, yeah, he's he's been great. I got to go over to his house, meet his family and, and kids and everything, and uh, it was a lot of fun. He's been he's been so good to me, and, and he's made me feel so comfortable, and as well as all the young guys. So he's such a good person, such a good kind of role model, and uh, it's pretty great for me to have have a guy like him. You feel like you're That's one for God. Uh, no, it feels feels pretty natural. Um, you know, I think they've been they've been great with that, making me feel comfortable with talking to them or asking them questions. And um, you know, I think that's a big part for myself. Even like I said earlier, kind of with the systems, you know, a lot of these guys have played in it, and just getting to ask them, and you know, they can tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me what I'm doing right. I think that's pretty huge to to just learn and um, you know try to become you know a better player and and better in the system, of course.